South Coast Obispo County Public Works crews are working to restore access to roads and bridges following this week's storm. The department has received more than 500 calls for service since Monday. Near Lake Nascimento, more than 100 people are stranded along Chimney Rock Road. KSBY's Aaron Fay has more. One neighbor told us hundreds of people are without power or the ability to leave in order to refill propane tanks. County officials are trying to figure out how to get to these neighbors and determine just how many people are impacted. The storms this week left people stranded near Chimney Rock Road in Paso Robles. We have no way in. We have no way out. Uh, we've been without power since Sunday. PG&E says the outage began around 2 a.m. on Monday morning. The county maintained road heads out toward Running Deer Ranch in the Lake Nascimento area. The closure is at Fawn and Chimney Rock Road. Joshua Roberts is the division manager for the county of San Luis Obispo Public Works. To do a full assessment of Chimney Rock Road means we need to figure out how to get to the other side. There's 400, about 420 people or property owners behind the running deer gate. According to PG&E, there are 420 customers affected, and the damage from the storms makes the road inaccessible even to their off-road vehicles because of mud and rock slides. They said crews were unable to access the area by helicopter due to the weather. There's a significant culvert washout in that area, and we had crew on site yesterday doing initial damage assessment. One of the concerns, obviously, is with the upcoming storms that some additional damage may occur. County Public Works says this is one of their highest priorities for restoring access, at least to provide access for PG&E, adding that it could be a month before full vehicle access is restored. We have a generator to run the fridge and the freezer and that kind of stuff, but, um, but our propane tank is down to less than 20%, so that's only going to last a few more hours. The Office of Emergency Services says it's working to get to those who are impacted. PG&E is asking customers to call 211 for essential community services. In the studio, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.